This is the Power Hour, yet another edition, and I am Prince, along with Poopster. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are dudes on the move, or something, I don't know, whatever sounds good. Anyways, this is, uh, I don't know what episode we're on, but we're on it. And we're going to talk about things that you're not going to be comfortable about, because, well, maybe you will be, I don't know. Really, we're just going to pick stuff off the top tonight. We're going to wing it. Wing it, yeah. Wing it, like winger, that... Oh no! Nobody remembers who Winger is. Come on, that band. Yeah, the Winger, band from the eighties. I think so. I mean, yeah. Rat round yeah. and round. No, I don't know. <laughs> I go find some of that. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> so we've got a few things to talk about this evening. A few things here and there. Poopster's got some feelings to talk about. He's. Um, I do. Yeah, I mean, we we we've, we've been bouncing around the past couple of days. He's he's been uh, having trouble. Um, well, we'll get into that, <laughs> won't we, Mister Poop? Sure. Sir? Yeah, I'm all you know. I'll pour my heart out. You're gonna pour your heart out. Well, I give you props, my friend. So, starting off as we normally do with uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, what's going on in cryptocurrency this week, Boopster? Well, I heard the vet is uh, it's mooning up. Mooning? Are you kidding me? Yeah. It's up like 26% or something like that the other day. Oh, we're on I episode mean, that's 10, I'm informed. Huge, but Wonderful. We're, we're hitting the double, gi- double digits, if I could talk. Yeah, it's one of those, they call it the old coins. The shakers, you know. So you're coming. saying that crypto is setting up to moon? Yeah. Bitcoin. Yeah, I, I think they are. We've been stagnant for a while now. Okay. Well, okay. Bitcoin's well, kind of hovering at 9,000 right now, not mm-hmm. dropping, not going up, but it's waiting for something, like some kind of catalyst. Now, I, I don't and have charts hits. in front of me right now, but... Um, other people who are margining uh, uh, Bitcoin right now w- would beg to differ. And what I know of things such as the Ichimoku cloud and the moving averages, um, they're all pointing down. Um, we are below a red cloud, which means mm, not good for expansion. Or moon, yeah. as it will, or as it were. Well, I'm, not, I'm not saying it was right now. I'm saying like it's going to be after the Christmas after Christmas. That's when it started to rebound a little bit. And then next year, well, we, we, we don't know, but if anything is from, like, history repeating itself, no, uh, last year, the, the, cycles, the, the yeah. stock market, yeah, the cycle. Last year, um, the, the market, stock market and crypto, they both coincide a uh, uh, biggest dip, lowest point on Christmas Day. Well, so, we, we can't look at that as an indicator. I mean, we, we're in new waters here, my friend. Uh, it's uh, it could be just a coincidence. We don't have enough uh, statistical data to support an argument like that. But it's right. completely plausible. I, I'm not going to count it out. Got to be fifty fifty, right? You got either you know kind of go with it or you don't. So it's kind of like you know history tends to go in cycles, and right. we all know you know. In crypto, we, we know how that goes. The cycle usually is very fast. Well, and yeah. well, it shuts up just like that without even knowing. I mean, you could be like going down to dinner and like, I remember back in what? Go out to dinner and come back like, I lost all my fucking money. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> or like, like, you go out to dinner, you go to like McDonald's, 50%. and you come home and you realize that you could have eaten foie gras or something. I don't know. But if you yeah. eat frog raw, you're a monster. That shit is terrible. So, anyways. Um, frog raw is awesome. What are you talking about? It's cruel, man. It's cruel, yeah. But somebody's going to have to eat it, right? Somebody's going to have to eat it. 
If you don't eat it, someone will. That's how it is. It's a cruel war out there. Okay. I mean, if if, if it were not a constructed meat, if, if it didn't require you to raise an animal in that, that, that way, I would I would agree. Um, yeah, I, I guess I agree with it. If they just raise it just for that liver, I mean... It's like um, veal. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they torture um, calves, but uh, foie gras is, is, is... Man, they're basically force-feeding ducks to make their... I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I've i never eaten it, but I guess it makes it taste better. You know, the pain. Yeah. <laughs> the pain well, makes it taste about, good. Yeah, if you think about it on a deeper level, I mean, humans are a cruel animal, I mean, as a species. You've got that right, man. You know, so... Well, <laughs> back to um, Bitcoin. Yeah, Grimnir says, uh, past performance does not guarantee future results, and he's right about that. But, uh, and, and as we've said before in uh, uh, previous casts, it seems that the block halvings have something to do with the price movement. And that would make sense logically um, um, as far as uh, scarcity and. Um, supply goes. When you cut the supply of something, obviously, um, it becomes more valuable. Um, right. So, the next time Bitcoin halves, um, we, we possibly may see another uh, meteoric rise, as we've seen in the past. But, indeed, as every year has gone, um, it seems the, the final quarter is where things perform. So, if it's going to be a historical, a historically uh, what the fuck word am I looking for? Relevant or... I don't know. I'm at a loss. Uh, if it's going to work, it'll work. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And nobody's going to care. Because everybody's going to make money whether the price goes up or down. That's right. <laughs> that's the that's the market. You make money market. going down or up. Yep. It's how you play the game. Exactly. It's not the fight in the dog, it's the dog in the fight. I think I said that last week and I butchered it. Speaking of last week, actually, um, I, I have to cut these casts when I, before I put them up. And I realize um, that instead of saying phonetically, I said phonographically. And I find that very entertaining. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. moving on. Poopster has nothing to say about that because he doesn't want to sound like a broken record. I think like maybe two people got that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anything else about cryptocurrency that you want to add before we move on to whatever we're going to move on to next? Well, I haven't really paying attention, so um, My God. I haven't been even looking at charts or what is wrong with you. I've been sick, bro. <laughs> so you've been sick. So you've been curled up in bed, watching. Uh, well, there's not a lot of exciting things happening. I mean, if there's a pump or a mooning, you know, everybody's excited. There's energy, you know. You chop everything to be part of it, but when things are kind of Stagnant, you know, it's like not a lot of movement, not a lot of action. Well, you know, you tend to be a lot of movement in the market, but there's definitely a lot of movement in in in, in the field of, you know, our community uh, regulation, yeah, um, things like that. Um, true, that's true. Yeah, that yeah. is definitely true. Like, I'm involved like in the uh, IRC uh, casino every day. So in that involved essence, in the IRC, he's very involved. So he, Poopster's involved in gambling, and he's proud of this. Yes, <laughs> very proud. Well, because uh, it's a fun activity; it doesn't hurt anybody. I mean, we're not killing a, a geese for their liver, right? Um, that's a good and, thing, I suppose. Know, but yeah, and the Roger is a great coin, and 
I'm embracing wholeheartedly. Oh my God! I just uh, found this article. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Poopster. This is this is breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. All right. John. Let's hear it. John McAfee launches whacked, and Epstein didn't kill himself. Crypto. That is beautiful. <laughs> we all know that already from the very first night that well, the news broke. Oh, that's another story altogether. I mean, we're not even. We don't have to argue that. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm just uh, you know stating the obvious, but. So, um, you guys, uh, if you don't know who John McAfee, McAfee is, I mean, we've obviously talked about him in previous podcasts, about him eating his penis um, if, if Bitcoin didn't reach a certain price. I, you know, it's all, I don't remember, but he did... End of 2020. He, yeah, yeah. So now uh, John McAfee has uh, created, I believe, a token... Um, I think it's a token. It probably is a token. I, I doubt anybody would spend time to create a blockchain specifically for an, uh, an Epstein didn't kill himself crypto. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> this is Wacked's protocol design. Mac McAfee's Wacked. Uh, it's a deflationary Ethereum token. So it, how many, what's the supply cap? So it either has no supply cap or an enormous supply cap, which means it's deflationary. Um, and he's releasing it via airdrop on the 15th, which is tomorrow. Nice. This isn't... Wow, that coincides with another uh, platform that's supposed to airdrop or space drop. Oh, yeah. Keybase. 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 Do our the, listener know about Keybase? I get paid on the fifteenth too. So me too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, you get paid bi monthly. It used to be two months, but my employer we got bought out, so this new company um switched to bi monthly. Yeah. So yeah, Which, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I don't like it actually. I, I like it bi weekly. You know, this is the first place I've actually worked at that uh, pays in a bi-monthly fashion. You know, I, I, I've done a lot of freelance work, a lot of stuff yeah. like that. Um, and uh, this is the first one like this, but uh, it's not terrible. I'm not going to knock it so bad. So... Just a little getting used to it. Oh, this is interesting about uh, McAfee's um, token here. So, the d in, in his protocol design... Uh, 10% of all tra transactions will be burned. Uh, quote, whacked. So, <laughs> one out of a thousand transactions will be whacked. Just like Epstein. Wow. Yeah, I see what, how it's going now. Yeah. I, all right, I get, I get the flex. I get, I get the message. Whack. Okay, yeah. You know, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. He is definitely a character. I, I kind of like him, actually. I do like McAfee, too. He, he's cool, you know? Uh, he's, uh, he's a little out there, but are we all, though, right? In we our are. own little ways. I am insanely nuanced. And if you if you knew me in uh, uh, The Holy Roger on Freenode, you would know this. Because when I get out of work at 7 in the morning... I usually drink myself to sleep because I can't sleep during the day. It's it's impossible for me for whatever reason. And um that usually ends with me in a troll argument that you cannot tell is a troll argument. <laughs> it's beautiful. And and we we practice this actually sober or not um very regularly. Yeah. It's a great channel to be in if you want to be. It's the art. In trolling. The art of the troll. There, there's. It's a, a, yeah. It's a deep, dark art. Very deep, very dark. Very dark. Yes. As deep as Anna's um closet. No, there, there's no one named Anna that I know. And she doesn't have a very large closet, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah. There, there's a store, I think, in Canada. I forgot what's the name. I, I've been there back in the uh, early 
early late 1990s. Or what are you talking time. about? There's a department store, some kind of closet, somebody's name closet or somebody's name basement. Oh, I don't so, know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Just bring back some memory lane. That's all. <sighs> Anyways, I want to actually bring up uh, <clears throat> steganography again, steg, uh, because last week, you know, I was introduced to the Deep Steg project. Um, maybe six hours before we went on air and uh, steganography was something that uh, that, that I, I was uh, forming opinions on uh, as to how beneficial it is um, yes. and the use case scenario that was presented be- to me by Deep Steg was uh, a scenario to fight crime specifically uh, later on uh, someone in that particular room for the project brought to me the point that Steganography is not necessarily only beneficial to uh, crime or or diversion or anything like that. Now, look at governments and uh, uh, dictatorships, things like that. Steganography can also be used to subvert and communicate outside of people who are seeking to hurt and otherwise... Uh, you know, subdue normal communication. So steganography can be useful for things other other than crime, things like that. So really, when you think about it, the deep steg program, uh, the deep steg deep steg project, could really be a double edged sto- sword because it aims to set up. A, uh, a, a network of deep learning that is devoted to un- uncovering uh, stegon- steganographic images. If I have to say that word like five more times in the next 30 days, it'll be... Anyways. Uh, so, really, it's a double-edged sword, and it gives us a lot to think about and what I was saying uh, to someone that I work with is that, you know, I, I don't necessarily trust police. And essentially what that does is it turns um, people in the network into data police. And I couldn't really pinpoint what I didn't like about it at the time until this person, I, I, I don't remember who it was in the room, brought that up to me and it kind of filled in the puzzles. So, like I said, double-edged sword. Anything to add to that, Poopster? I agree with you. Um, just like anything else, there's always a good and a bad side. Depending on which side you take, uh, you know. Um, but then it's both side will cut you. A what? The saddle caught you? No, both sides. It's like a double-edged sword, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. So you're right. You know, you're right. Yeah. So it's uh. Just anything. It's it's also your mindset too. So, um, you may think one way or the other. I mean, you know, I wanted to have a, I wanted to have an. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no I, I lost my thought. train of thought. Okay. You lost your train of thought. Yeah. <laughs> it left the station. Yeah, the station left. Well, that's okay. <clears throat> So I was looking up things, uh, you know, because we like to talk about conspiracy conspiracy theories, obviously. And uh, it led me to a couple different trains of thought. Um, The first, actually, is because uh, I think she's kind (laughs) of hot. Tulsi Gabbard pushes um, Saudi Arabia 9-11 cover-up theory. Good for her. Huh. You know who I'm talking about, right? Tulsi Gabbard? Yeah, the, the candidate for the Democrats, yeah. I, mean, um, they're I don't know about her conspiracy, though. Democratic so. candidates, but... They're all politicians, yeah, what, what, and they're all terrible, but... <laughs> yeah. In a way, pretty much, yeah. But good for the surfer girl. Yeah. She so what, what was her uh, conspiracy time theory? Time. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not. I'm not that enterprising. Um, so yeah, uh, we deserve all the information on 9/11. She's not wrong. I mean, I think they're, 
you know, not to get into a typical thing that people talk about, you know, tinfoil hat, but obviously there, there, there are things we don't know about um, that have been kept from the public. That is absolutely right. It depends on how much information they release, right? Well, everything that, that gets taken out is redacted. So who knows, man? You know how it goes. Yep. They're trying to protect the public. Save us from ourselves. Well, just like there could be an asteroid heading to Earth right now, right? They could keep that information from us uh, to prevent mass hysteria, right? That's debatable because astronomy is is not limited to well the practice isn't limited to the United States obviously so people from all around the world have very powerful telescopes and um, you can see quite far out and uh, right, determine but... whether something is coming that's why I find these doomsday asteroids that we always talk, talk about that come up every week and in fact let me see if there's a new one for this week <laughs> yeah there should be one yeah, well, the thing is, is that, uh, you know, if you think about space, it's it's a large, empty area. Um, it's not like how you see it in in, um, in sci-fi theories. Um, the Expanse, excluded from that argument, because it's rather accurate in its depiction. Um, but if you can see something, then that's it. I mean, it's going to go in, in the way it's going to go. Uh, like, as far as uh, if you were to have weapons uh, in space, it wouldn't be that you'd have to get close to someone to even hit them. You could be, you know, millions of miles away or a light year away. And uh, uh, as long as you can see them, <laughs> then, then yeah. So, asteroids. Yep. Let me see if there's a new one for this week. Yeah. So why don't you tell me about uh, um, the origin of the name Poopster while I look up uh, Doomsday Asteroids? <coughs> Our oh. listeners are dying to know. Okay, sounds good. <coughs> Poopster, all right. Uh, well, the uh, the origin of the name, I don't remember how, what, when was the first time I started using it. It all deals with um, very basic human need and that is to poop and I like any healthy male poops a lot so <laughs> the name comes from poops a lot so a person who poops a lot is poopster wow man it kind of have its origin from uh, like Napster you guys ever remember Napster guy with the nappy hair created a, a software that People, um, is is that why um, Napster is um, called Napster? Because he had nappy hair? I, I don't know. Man. I, that's kind of sketch on that. But go on, or not? I, okay, I don't know. I hear I hear echo from you. Uh, so, anyways, so that is the origin. Is off play of Napster, but with poop, pooping. So, as a result. You got Poopster. Hmm. I, your illustrious co-host, named I Poop understand. I understand. Okay, so your name, Poopster, is a play on Napster. So in that whole regard of uh, uh, um, marketable names, you, you decided that shit was the correct way to move forward. That's cool. Yes. Because everybody shit. poops. Without shit, you'd be dead. So that's the thing. Exactly. If you don't shit, you might as well be dead. That's another off play of the name. Um, so I find that well, essential. Right. So right. when you eat, you got to shit. Input, output. You cannot just input. You have to do the output. So well, look it all kind of play into this computer parlance, you know, kind of like a play of... Before I get into uh, um, 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 the doomsday asteroids. Uh, okay, you got uh, it? Oh, I got... Well, I've got something. I don't know if it's useful or not. But... Um, you know, if you guys didn't know, the name Prince with a T-S is a play on the artist formerly known as, or the symbol Prince. 
obviously. Yeah. If you don't get it... Yeah, we get that. I get that from Bill. He call you Prince. Yeah, I mean, everybody calls me Prince, like normal Prince. Not Prince yeah. with a T-S. Right. But, so apparently, like, this year we've had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 uh, near-Earth approaches of asteroids. So they're going to kill us. They're out to get us. No, that's all I had to add about that. And we had all that origin story... For me to find that less than two second long bit of information, <laughs> was it worth it? Probably not. But now you know. Yeah, it's worth it. Now that everybody knows more where than the that. Poster name comes from, right? Virtual impactors. I, I've never looked at this before. Observation. No. Poorly, poorly can stain. No, never mind. Okay. Now, if a uh, asteroid comes, and would we even know that it will come? Yes. Wasn't I just saying that before? <laughs> that all the communities in the uh, astronomy uh, come together the and warn them. really whole... work, man. It, well, yes, they do because it's science. I, I, That's what science is. Okay. The yeah, only way they can all... work is if there is actually some new world order that controls the gamut of information that's released uh, on a planet. Right, but I also system. believe that all the countries and all these uh, agencies do all the astronomy will kind of have its own meetings whether it's public or private and I think that they may not release that information well to be fair it could Imagine cause mass yeah, hysteria it, I mean um, yeah. something like that if not prepared the same thing with um, extraterrestrials if let's say I mean there is an argument in that ar in, in, in that direction that says, yes, we, we have been visited and are currently visited by extraterrestrial life. But, for the public to know about it would be such a jarring event that it would change things and it would cause hysteria. Um, I don't know if we're, we're actually at that anymore, honestly, but um, I'm sure it would be very difficult for, for some people um, mainly boomers to deal with. No, I'm just joking. I'm not. I'm not not. I, I agree with that. Actually, I, I actually have to agree with that. Yeah. Well, boomers. I mean, really, it shouldn't be. I guess. I mean, if you grew up with sci-fi and stuff, sci-fi has been prominent for quite a long time, or, or yeah. even more even. I don't know. So, I guess there's just a, a portion of people who aren't ready to deal with that thing, whether it's um, your generation or not. It's, it's, I don't think it has to do with boomers specifically. Um, but I just said that as a humorous anecdote. I didn't really mean it. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, okay. Boop, Boopster is a boomer. No. I am a boomer. Oh, I actually didn't know. Wow. Well, what? Hi. Hello. I'm a boomer. <laughs> well, you're not one of those peop those boomers that people complain about. Oh no, no. I am I am a hip boomer. He's hip. I'm hip. hip. I, can, I can hang with the young crowd. Nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, you do I mean, uh you do hang with the young crowd. I mean, I hang with the young crowd even. I mean, considering Yeah. That. Anyways. And sometimes I have to keep the young crowd at bay, you know? Well, if we don't work with the youth, then we won't be able to pass on, or we won't, what we know won't be accepted uh, if, if we don't work together, I think. But um, anyways. That's right. Uh, what else do we have here? I was going to, uh, actually, because uh, Amirsky posted this article. Um, she is a, uh, a Roger Tear in the Holy Roger. Um, let me find the article. <laughs> actually, it wasn't an article. It was a Reddit post. Um, and you know what goes on on Reddit. Where is it? Where is it? So... The question was, can you yours, use a deep up. Okay, tongue tied. Can you use a person's? Oh, okay, that's not even phrased with. That's phrased in English. I'm sorry. So I'm going to paraphrase because this isn't even phrased correctly. Uh, can you use someone's voice 
who is very deep as a vibrator. <laughs> and my goal was to uh, to create a recording or a portion of our broadcast to test that theory. But I don't know if the bass is, is good enough. But um, I have you know, a very deep voice. So I'm told. willing to make recordings and test this hypothesis. If, if, if anyone is interested in uh, being a subject, you're more than welcome to contact me. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, that would be bad. Don't contact. Don't. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's audition right there. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. I have some weird things to talk about in, in the terms of quantum physics and uh, uh, reality, which I know Poopster loves to talk about, because every time I do, he's got nothing to say. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> but it's all good. I, it's, a, it's a topic that I have not much uh, experience in. Well, oh. so I've actually talked about... The Big Bang before, obviously. Um, so now uh, there is a cosmologist, James Peebles, who who doesn't have, who actually does not believe that we have sufficient evidence to to uh, determine whether the Big Bang happened or not. I mean, it's the most accepted position that we did arise from an infinitely dense point and bang out from there. But And white noise from that has been proven to exist. TV static, if you will. But he, he, uh, he does not like the Big Bang. And really... That could um, be an argument. It's an argument. And... and um, but I don't know how great of an argument it is. But we do need to explore and determine if, in fact, something else happened, if that is the case. Anyway. Yeah. The big one. Uh, that was uh, an abrupt mention. But a mention nonetheless. And back to my, uh, y your favorite subject, uh, 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 what is consciousness? Is this real? Do you think about that sort of thing? Yeah. Sometimes I, I do think. Like, like, do other animals have this consciousness, or is it just us? Or is it because of our higher intelligence that we could think like that, or... You know, well, I've on a rainy day where you have nothing to do, those best time to ponder such questions. True. I mean, uh, but really, is consciousness any different from life? It, does that make life quantitatively uh, uh, less important than one of a conscious uh, distribution? Well, if you will. I think there is a difference. I mean, you could go through life without even thinking about it, right? You just try to look for food, you poop, you live <laughs> <Yeah>. your life, <laughs> and then you don't. die, right? Yeah, we obviously but, don't know what, what consciousness is, and we don't know whether or not other organisms have the constituents of it. Um, as far as neurology goes, we, we do have uh, uh, a lot of evidence to suggest that there are things that are not the same in other brains and other organisms but since we don't know what consciousness is in the first place there's really no way to tell so well one of the things I, I seen like on TV or things for, like showing other animals like a mother animal caring for their child that's kind of like very similar to like us humans caring for our offsprings yeah I'm going to get into oh. why I brought this up but, but that, that brings a good point um, we raised chickens uh, at uh, at in Pennsylvania. We we had chickens for for a few years, and just observing the social structure of of um, chickens in a coop, the dynamics 
it's it's hard to imagine or or think that they're very much different from us or they think very much differently from from uh, anyone else and that goes r- really with any organism not just chickens and uh, I think that's really how we've come to a lot of the understanding uh, we have of other organisms is that uh, we look at them in the light of how are they similar to us uh, and in fact there are quite many things but so they say there's uh, there's growing suspicion that conventional scientific methods uh, will never be able to answer the question uh, what is consciousness so uh, apparently there's uh, there has arisen an alternative approach that supposedly could crack the mystery so consciousness has not not been quantifiable so it hasn't been something that serious science could really tackle uh, it was more of, uh, of a philosoph man I can't talk tonight a philosophical argument and those things are open to interpretation ultimately that's and, true uh, but I think that yes these things do have a lot to do with the structures of the brain. Um, I'm just reading this article here to see what else I can add to it. Because uh, um, I actually didn't read it before, like I said. We're, we're just talking off the cuff here. Uh, maybe I should prepare next time, but hey, fuck it. Um, so how can science ever explain it? When we're dealing with the data of observation... We can do experiments to test whether we can observe matches, uh, whether what we can observe matches what theory predicts. Uh, When we're dealing with unobservable data, like consciousness, the methodology breaks down. The best uh, scientists are able to do is correlate unobservable experiences with observable processes. So like MRIs and things like that, consciousness. Exper- uh, experiences and things like that. Right. So, mm, this may be bizarre, it says, but uh, it turns out that physics is is confined to telling us about the behavior of matter, which which uh, which is true, obviously. Um, matter has mass and charge which are entire, entirely characterized in terms of behavior, like attraction, repulsion, uh, resistance, things like that. So, physics itself doesn't talk anything of, of uh, philosophy, uh, the intrinsic nature of matter. But how are those two things related? I mean, physics leaves us uh, with a really gray area, so um, yeah, it's it's a very interesting thing to think about. I should have read more of this when uh, before I went on, but uh, you know, some heady stuff, my friend. Yeah, it's pretty deep. Leading on to <laughs> our study suggests that objective reality does not exist. You know, I'm not trying to get any deeper here. Really? Yeah. No. Poofster's lost. He's like, man, shut the fuck up. (laughs) It's too deep for me. I'm a simple man. All right, I'll skip that one, man. Okay. (laughs) You can go on. It's all right. It's a... Sometimes it's... it's, uh, I don't usually talk to myself, so it's kind of tough. (laughs) Anyways, I want to talk about conspiracy theories, I think, leading on. Uh, not anyone in, in uh, specific. I, I talked about Tulsi Gabbard and, and um, how pretty she was. That was not the conspiracy theory, however. Um, mainly, why conspiracy theories are deeply dangerous to us as a society. Um, Trump and... 
how he's utilized conspiracy theories to further his agenda and why specifically Americans uh, tend to rely on conspiracy theories to you know generate arguments and things like that and opinions so yeah he does it well yeah this face and this even leads to Jeffrey Epstein which is not uncommon for the power hour apparently you know because obviously there there were you know rampant conspiracy theories involving Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein that we're now finding actually weren't but um you know i have the the conspiracy theory that uh, it's uh, kentucky fried chicken well kfc who changed their name legally to kfc because uh, <laughs> they're not selling chicken they're they're selling children meat uh to feed the reptiles and that's my theory um but apparently the uh the uh, original tweet uh, regarding the Epstein conspiracy involved the Clintons and uh, uh, a lot of other things as well, which, hey, that, that may, be, uh, it may be plausible, really. Um, but even 9-11, things like that, uh, which we don't know, really. Uh, so conspiracy theory is all we have because the, the facts that are given to, to us, are, are they don't add up. So this is why people... Uh, specifically Americans in in this particular case, uh, invent conspiracy theories because we find things that do not add up and we look to tie up these loose ends. And um, politicians use these theories as a form of propaganda. Uh, Specifically, uh, Donald Trump has um, reportedly used something like 24 or 25 conspiracy theories to, to um, you know, further his agenda. So, uh, down to everything, you know, the the swamp, um, you know, the, uh, the impeachment proceedings, um, a host of things that are nothing more than the conspiracy theories that anyone can really dream up. Um... So when they're used in that way, they're very dangerous. Um, again, a double-edged sword, because if we didn't have the ability to think outside the box, and like David Icke, then uh, we, maybe we wouldn't realize that uh, there's shape-shifting reptiles controlling everything. So this ties into the whole conscious thing, right? It could. I mean, because without without the really conscious, awake? well, without the conscious of thinking, there's the other side of the coins, for example. Well, and consciousness is different than free thought, but it's not a free thought. It's a different it's just that argument you're, altogether. You're not, but no, you know, you're making an argument, though. I guess uh, I guess that could be tied in. Yes, but um, these are, I mean. Everyone can have your opinion on them, but really we don't know, ultimately. We probably will never know. So, forming these uh, hypotheses or believing that, yes, this is the truth without actually knowing, is not really helpful. If you want it to be true, sure, it'll be true. But that most likely means that you have your own personal agenda, um, or you have something that you're trying to get reinforced um, so, just don't fall for the uh, the the scam. I guess is what I mean, because uh, they could be really dangerous if if you if you choose to base your life on something that you can't verify is true. Then it's not good for you. It's not good for anybody. I mean, we always want to believe what we want to believe, right? Well, we all have beliefs. I mean, I do. You you do. Yeah. Everybody has separate beliefs. I mean, I I don't judge people, but. <clears throat> when it starts to affect things like uh, uh, global politics, that's when it starts to get very dangerous. Oh, yeah. The great hack. The great hack. Time and example. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, let me see if there's anything else here, because we're rounding up on the end of the hour. 
think we have like 10 minutes left. Asshole of the week? You know, I don't even have an asshole of the week. I don't have the music even pulled up. Yeah, uh, I couldn't think of anyone. I, we're all assholes this week. <laughs> Stick of it like that. It's all good. <clears throat> so, Florida. <laughs> it's always um, weird things that happen in Florida. So there's this, uh, apparently, uh, this man faces burglary and stalking charges after he rode his bike by a former co-worker's home for months before attempting his way inside. Attempting, uh, oh no. This is gets weirder, actually. So, so what did he do? This probably had something to do with bath salts or or flaca. No, I don't know because people do weird stuff on flaca. If you ever saw those videos, he he wanted to he broke into her home to talk about cannibalism. Uh, so, in order to repair muscle tissue, apparently he wanted to eat people. And so he huh. broke into her home to to discuss this, which hey, but he totally looks like someone that would do that. I don't know. This is yeah. a weird article. That's perfectly normal. <laughs> perfectly normal. It's perfectly perfectly normal for Florida. Yeah, you probably just came out of a sinkhole. Let's break into people's houses and talk about how we want to cannibalize others. To repair muscle tissue. Yep. Those Florida's people. Sounds legit, man. Yep. Yeah. All right. Legit. Well, closing thoughts. I'd like to give a shout out to altmarkets.io. And we have some new listeners as well from the altmarkets.io ecosystem such as Sami Ahmed so welcome to the power hour welcome to Roger we're here to make things okay yes oh speaking of that let me find uh, um, let me find holiest's new Roger report you heard about that right the newest Roger, Roger, the newest added to the Roger list. This goes back no, to crypto. What is it? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I have been a rock. Well, anyway. Let me find it? it. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. Where's our Roger list? Where are our Rogers? To give you guys another, because uh, we probably have new people tuning in. They don't understand what a Roger is. So I'll say it again. A Roger is a term used to define any scam, dubious, or pump and dump coin. Cryptocurrency. Uh, and uh, tokens, not ICOs, are by default all Rogers. So, Rogers. Where's the list? Where's the list of Rogers? We got a brand new one to add to the Roger list. It's Fibercoin. So, um, oh, Fiber. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this Rogers. is different. There, there, there's a Fibercoin uh, from SuperNet days that was F I B R E, which which is still in existence. But this is a different coin, Fibercoin. And I don't want to scare investors into dumping stuff, but this is a really fucked up situation in in the fact that. Uh, um, yeah, it. I wouldn't be talking about it if uh, if it wasn't bad. If if he didn't do this, so um, fiber fibercoin is fully centralized in in the uh, regard that the developer is doing what he wants to the chain. So apparently, um, the developer uh, was it Didar Amidu? I guess that's how you pronounce it. Uh, the developer. Um, uh, apparently had sent uh, quite a large number of uh, Fibercoin to a scam exchange for a listing. Um, so immediately, the, the scam took the funds and dumped them onto altmarkets.io right at market price. So they just dumped it. Um, 
So, that's neither here nor there. It's a terrible thing, uh, but, you know, if you've been in, in current cryptocurrencies long, well, longer than a week, you know that it happens uh, quite a lot if you, if you don't protect your neck. So, this uh, developer uh, was obviously very unhappy, uh, so he took it upon himself to take his coin and roll back the chain before he sent the, the coins to the scammer, after the damage had been done. So either he didn't understand that you can't take back time, or, or uh, I, I don't know. So obviously uh, what happened was uh, um, altmarkets.io was left out of pocket with, with the fake balances, so they had to refund everyone that was caught up. So obviously, it set in, uh, into step a chain reaction that was not good. Um, they immediately delisted Fibercoin, obviously, and uh, at a financial loss because of uh, the developer's actions. And obviously, at this point, um, anyone who has invested in that coin, I feel terrible for because uh, because of this man's actions. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't feel good to get scammed. You know, I, I feel for him on that. Actually, shit. That ties in, man. This is our asshole of the week. Sorry, dude. Sorry, D. There you go. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't even mean for this, but yes. So, like I said, getting scammed sucks. Okay, but you can't roll back a chain. After it happened, and, and 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 pretend like you can fix it, you can only move on. Yeah. And be truthful. Otherwise, you're fucked. Now you, your credibility is ruined. Uh, you know, holiest went above and beyond to to try to help you, and you blocked and banned banned him from from your server, uh, and actually went on to further message him uh, regarding this issue. Um, still not understanding apparently what exactly you did so yes this is the asshole of the week yeah can't undo things like that that's no. just that kind of goes against what crypto is you know exactly so he shouldn't even be a, be a developer in that kind of space if you're gonna do things like that <laughs> well you know I, I don't know the 100% story I, I don't know the man's history I, I, anything like that but yeah, but he understands crypto at least to be a developer, right? So you would think I would so. think he understands that's a very you would basic think so. and but underlying, you know, function of a crypto blockchain. Here's what it is, though. I mean, so you'd think so, but it's possible that no, he didn't. He doesn't understand yeah. exactly what immutable ledger means. Um, right. Uh, well, that's just the problem. The simple fact is, that he did that. Would, would lend to that argument unless he just didn't care which is another thing well, altogether uh, here's the problem with open source too is that well it's great but you know anybody could fork a uh, a coin whether you're a very experienced developer or a new developer and you know, oh, get you're a, now so where is what? he uh, uh, Sammy Ahmed is saying uh, he's in here now so what he's listening I'd like to know. Not to put you on blast, Didar Miru, but what you did is going to destroy your coin. Uh, if it hasn't already. You cannot roll back a chain like that. Now, yep. let's say, in a decentralized system, let's say everyone got scammed. Now, if everyone agrees that you, that you can roll back the chain... Then yes, you you possibly can do it. It's not encouraged, but you cannot do that on a personal basis just because one person in the system got caught up in something that uh, that they did not uh, got caught up in a scam. So, like we were saying, we're not sure if 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 you understand, and we're not trying to to call you out or make you seem uh, any uh, less of a person because it seems like you did have some from your your communications that are that are uh, have been reported to us that you did have some 
uh, aims to to rectify the situation or you, or you feel bad about it in some sort of way. So maybe it is the fact that you you didn't know what you were doing, but we've seen it all, man, so you never know. <clears throat> Just the fact that uh, you did it is, is <clears throat> really the ultimate key. And I hope that you do well in the future to not do things such as the such as that if you're listening so much respect and peace out or not peace out and peace and love or whatever you know Brother uh, Law. he's on the discord I don't think he's in here but yeah they're listening Those to discorders. us discorders yeah these discorders anyways that is uh, what I'm going to end on, I suppose, for this 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 uh, week's power hour. You know, you can't just roll back a chain, man. So, I mean, I feel bad for I don't know uh, how big his community is. Like I said, I feel bad for for the people, the investors uh, in that coin, because this can seriously jeopardize any uh, well. I'd say all future for this chain. But hey, that's life. That's life! And here we are. So, on that note, I'm uh, gonna leave you guys. Unless Poopster has I'm any closing arguments. No, I don't have any, but. As you were saying, we'll leave you guys and ponder about consciousness and life. Consciousness, life, and not scamming people. That's right. Yeah. Actually, um, no, I'm not going to get into that. That's something for another episode altogether. But, um, anyways, thank you for tuning in, my friends. We will see you next week with another special guest special 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 when are we other... it's gonna be a good one maybe maybe not it's always good at least we're here